Hey guys! So today I'm going to be doing a collective haul. This is like my fourth try time trying to film this video. Um, this video is very long because I have so much stuff that I need to show you guys. So I'm just going to get started. Um, so yeah, so the first thing I got is I went to Target and I needed a new body bronzing like thing. So I got the Debulk body bronzing um, revolution lotion and whenever my I'm so white I needed something to bronze my body a little bit because when I go to school and I wear shorts I don't want to be like a white snowman so it's not as dark it looks really dark but when you blend it in it's not as dark they were this was the lightest shade they had um so if you blend this in I know it looks really dark just wait it's not that much darker, so I'm really excited. I got this like a week ago, and I really love it. I wore it to school like the whole entire week, so that's good. Okay, the next thing I got is I got a, um, I got the step, this like step system, and it was just this like three step system, and it's from L'Oreal Paris, and it's Yoke Code. And the first thing it came with was a new moisturizer, and I got this like three weeks ago, and oh, oh my Jesus. This is the best moisturizer I've ever used in my life. It has SPF 30. And just look at that. Ooh, it's so amazing. And I just think, like, I'm going to be using this so much. So I'm really happy with that. Sorry, I'm having to talk really fast because I have a lot more products to show you. Okay, um, next thing I have is the Yoke Code from Laurel Paris. And it is their nighttime moisturizer. And this one is actually clear. Um... This feels like a foundation primer. Oh my god, I could rub my face for the whole entire day when I put this on. It is so amazing and it moisturizes my face so well. It's like when you use this at night, you don't really have to use a moisturizer in the morning because it is so good. Next thing it came with was the Yoke Code Eye Cream and it's just like this. And I use this so when I get older, I don't get wrinkles or anything. So it's good to start when you're younger. Um, so I use this like every night and every morning and it lightens up your dark circles and it has a really cool applicator and it's just white so um, it's very smooth and like put this on in the morning and you probably won't even need concealer so that's really good next thing I got is two concealers and the first one is from L'Oreal and I got this like two weeks ago and it's from L'Oreal Paris and it's just this concealer and this concealer is so good for going like under your eyes it's good for covering up any blemishes like I have a blemish right there and if you like blend this in it's really good for covering up blemishes and um it's just the L'Oreal Visible Let mm -hmm. concealer and um you turn it and it's very good so I really recommend that next is the Fit Me by Maybelline concealer and this is it's such a good concealer. It's so good for covering up your blemishes. I would recommend this under your eyes and this covering up your blemishes. It's like when you put it on your blemish, like, um, I don't have a blemish right here, but like if I put it on there and you blend it in, I swear to God, you can't even see that blemish anymore. I only have like a couple blemishes on my face, as you can see, but I only have like one, so I'm happy about that. But, um, this is so amazing and I really do recommend that. Now we're just going to move on to blush. So the first blush I got is I got a new Stila blush. And it is in aluminum. And I really wanted, I'm like obsessed with cream blushes. I got three cream brush blushes. Because I feel like powder blushes just don't stay on as long. So it just looks like this. Look how gorgeous that is. I don't even want to describe it. I'm like obsessed. This is like one of my favorite blushes. So I'm really happy with this. Next one I got is the Dreamless Bouncy Blush, and this is like my second favorite blush of all time, or my first, I don't even know. It's in the shade Pink Plum, and it literally bounces. First of all, look how gorgeous that color is. It's like, this is my only one, so I'm going to want to get another one, but it is so pretty, and I really do recommend that. Next thing is from, I really, I don't have that many products from NARS, and I kind of wanted a new NARS product. So I got the NARS Stick, and it's a stick blush, and look at that. I got this like two weeks ago, but look, oh my god. It blends in perfectly, just in the shade Maui, and it is so gorgeous. This is like my blush I've been using every single day, so I really do recommend going to get that. Sorry I'm rushing, because... 
I'm trying to get this video done. But the next thing is from Revlon, and we're now moving on to eye products. So I got a new Revlon cream shadows, and the other one I had was in Not Just Nudes, and this is in Precious Metals. And um, if you guys aren't familiar, they are the best cream shadows like in the world. Look how gorgeous. They're so pretty, and I, these are like my all-time favorite cream shadows to like ever wear. So I'm really happy with that. Next, oh, I totally forgot. I got a new foundation primer, and it is the L'Oreal Perfecting Base Foundation Primer. And it's like such a good quality. It's kind of like very foamy and like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like very foamy and... It's just such a good foundation primer, and this is my all-time favorite, and I wear it every single day. Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and move on back to the eye products. So the next eye product um, I got is I actually got three duo trios, and this is the first one I got, and there's like it looks like this, and it is so pretty. These are the three colors, and with them swatched so gorgeous so this is the first one I got they're really pigmented next one is just these colors and I love these because they're so easy and so simple and they have this isn't opening so I'll just show you it they have three colors um already in there so it's just like oh well, whatever this one isn't opening but it just looks like that and then the last one is just a this these colors and look okay look I'm trying to cover the mirror because you can see it better when the mirror isn't showing but that's not working out okay so just like I'm recording off my computer too straight direct to YouTube because my camera is being weird so look at that. anyway so like this is what it looks like swatched I don't even want to say anything these are like, I've been using these like every single day and they're so pretty and I'm really happy with those. Next eye product is, I kind of wanted something a little different, so like something I wouldn't wear. So it's the Hip from L'Oreal and these are just like these two greens. Look, one swipe, look at that pigment, another swipe, look at that pigment. Oh my god. They are so amazing and so pigmented and they're just really gorgeous and they're really good when you apply the lightest one it's not as green as it looks and it kind of looks like a really dark blue so it's really great so last products I have are the lip products so the first lip product I got is a new tube lip gloss and it is from L'Oreal Paris and it is just this lip gloss right here in the shade nude um, and it smells like cinnamon First of all, look at that color. It's so pretty. Sorry, I'm really trying to go fast. Next is from, I got this from Target, and this is just in their, like, weird kid sections, you know? And I was looking in there just for fun, like I knew I wasn't going to get anything, but then I came across this lip gloss. This should be, like, in Sephora. First of all, it's really pretty, and it's a strawberry scented. It doesn't even say where it's from, but, oh, my God. First of all, this is such a pretty lip gloss. You can barely see it right now, but it's so gorgeous. This is like my all-time favorite lip gloss. I wear it over my lipsticks, so it's really pretty. Next is from Clinique, and it is the Full Pontail Lip Plump and Shine. Ah, I am obsessed. Look at that. Oh, my God. This is like such a gorgeous lip gloss, and I wear it every single day, like over top with that. But this one... So that is really pretty. And the last, oh no, it's not the last yet. God, I have two more things. I have a new Revlon lipstick, and it's in 325 Tay Toast of New York. And I wanted something a little bit more, because I like the nude pinks. So I wanted to get this, like, kind of like a brownish red. I would, like, never wear this, but look at that pigment. And this is just, like, a very pretty brownish red color. And I wanted something a little bit more different, because... I don't have a lot of these, and I have a lot of, like, nude pinks. But the next one I got is a nude pink, and this is the lipstick I'm wearing every day, and it is the 112 Unattending Kiss. Look how gorgeous that is. Look at those pigments. It's so pretty, and it says L'Oreal on it, and this is, like, my all-time favorite lipstick. So that is the haul video. I know it was very long. This is a collective haul, so I didn't get all of this today. 
But, oh my god, I forgot something. I got a new heat protectant. It's the brilliant damage control heat protectant. Okay, that's it. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.